Do you know where the word scientist came from? The origin of the word scientist isn't that old. This is probably one of my favorite facts of all time. It was coined in 1834 for a woman. Scottish researcher Mary Somerville was a self-taught polymath in math, physics, geology, astronomy, and that's just a few of the subjects that she had mastered. A move to London in 1819 landed her a role as a private tutor for none other than Ada Lovelace, also known as the world's first computer programmer. No big deal. From there, Mary published her treatise titled On the Connection of the Physical Sciences in 1834. Science historian William Wewell read her treatise and was blown away. Mary had done something that no other man had done before in the sciences. She brought together previously disparate fields like chemistry, geology, astronomy, physics so seamlessly and clearly that it became the backbone of Cambridge University's first science curriculum. He wanted to praise her work in a review but came across one minor issue. He didn't know what to call her. The term at that time for such a person would have been a man of science, but Mary, evidently, was a woman. We will have felt that the term man of science was inaccurate not only because she was a woman, but it was also inadequate to describe the visionary thinking of Mary, who artfully drew connections between seemingly unrelated disciplines when others couldn't, in his eyes, much like an artist. Luckily, writing was William's craft, so with a bit of wordsmithing, he came up with the word scientist for Mary. A scientist, according to Wewell, is a person who is simply not an expert in just one subject, but in multiple disciplines. And according to Mary Somerville's biographer, Catherine Neely, Wewell's coinage of the term scientist was not meant to be only a gender neutral term. Wewell wanted a term that actively celebrated, quote, the peculiar illumination of the female mind, the ability to synthesize separate fields into a single discipline. My ladies in STEM, this is what the OG scientist looked like.